you guys seem to really enjoy the backyard skate park map in session the video did amazing almost 30,000 views almost 1500 thumbs up and the support was unreal and i got one question asked over and over and over and over and over again will the map ever come to skater xl and in the description i explained it i know no one really reads YouTube descriptions, but yes, it is coming to Skater XL. I actually wasn't even planning on making this video, but I wanted to show it off. We load up Skater XL and we scroll down here to the only logical map that makes sense. Big Pee Pee. <laughs> That's what I called the map. As this loads up, I want to reiterate the fact that this is a work in progress. This map is not out yet, so there's not going to be a download link yet. Me and Sashko are working on it, making it better than the session map as you'll see eventually dude i mean it, it's 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 so trippy to me seeing this in one of my favorite skateboarding video games this is my house this is right oh, behind that wall let's do what we did in the session video where we we cruise around fly around i'll give you the full tour first things first you can see <laughs> we have the miata in the front yard we started this map months ago before i got the miata and then i got the miata and sasuke added it in it's just a cool little little touches like that same thing with the grass this one has the uh the buddha in the corner like there is in real life and of course we have the actual skate park which if you watch the session video you already know how accurate this is you know it might actually be it might be kind of cool i'm gonna go film a part two because the ramp's uncovered now if you watch the session video you've already seen this i just want to do a a part two because the ramp is actually uncovered now we got the bush the shrub the grass is slowly coming back. This grass actually looks better in real life than it does in the game. Over here, it's still all dead and sad. We got the mini ramp itself uncovered. That's mainly the reason I'm refilming this. So you can actually see and compare it to real life. Of course, the chair on the pool, trampoline, park, and then it goes into the backyard. This ledge, since we've been working on the map, I moved it to this side, so in the game, it's still there. But yeah, that's it. That's, that's all it is. I just thought it could be fun to show the outdoor version of the map in real life now that this is uncovered compared to the Skater XL version, which we're going to go back into. <sighs> all right. So now you're all caught up to speed. If you watched the first session video or not, you know how accurate it is. This looks like the real life skate park. Every now and then there's this weird glitch. Where is it? There. Oh. There it is. I don't know what this glitch is, but it makes the whole backyard look like it got ravaged by a forest fire. And you go up and it goes back. Okay. Unfortunately, the trampoline does not work. Oh, wait. It almost did. To my knowledge, the trampoline does not work in the Skater XL version, only the session version. So we're just casually skating a trampoline. Like I said, the map is not finished. You're going to see weird glitches like that where the rail disappears. It's not perfect by any means. Sashko and I decided to make the park in both Session and Skater XL. My board just broke. We wanted it in both games for a reason. Obviously, the obvious reason is because it's cool and it's badass and I love this. However, the actual reason is because both games, both Session and Skater XL, have their pros and cons. In Session, the graphics are amazing. It, it could literally be mistaken for real life footage of my backyard, but the second the skater starts skating, you're like, ew, what? he looks like disgusting. The, the animations aren't there. It's still an early alpha game, so obviously it's not gonna look good yet there's no transition physics no pumping to my knowledge at least session has beautiful graphics subpar gameplay in terms of animation skater xl has subpar graphics you know it's clearly a video game it doesn't look bad by any means but it's just the the lighting some about games that are built using unity versus unreal you can tell it's a game the park however the way the game actually plays is much better than it is in session. And keep in mind, it's still not good. I mean, realistically, it's a very tight and hard to skate park in real life. You combine that into a video game that really doesn't specialize <laughs> in skating transition, and you throw a transition mainly map in there, it's not gonna be perfect. It is a hell of a lot of fun though. I kind of want to try, see the, the forest fire glitch? It's so bizarre. I want to try just some, uh, some basics. Same, look, same thing we did in the session video. Start it out from board. Accurate. Re 
also accurate. Toss a backboard slide. A backboard slide is like my actual first trick when I go out and skate. And then I'll do 50-50 croak, over croak, etc. Front lip's always a good trick to actually feel out the rail. You're putting all of your weight on it. You're seeing if it's waxed. It's just a good, it's a good entry level trick to a rail. God damn it. Here we have the inside of my house, which I guess, spoiler alert, we're gonna be doing the whole interior of the house as well. It's gonna be very, very scarily accurate. I also said nose grind or over crook. That's a redo. You know what? I gotta stop catering to the people that tell me that that's not a frontside over crook. That say frontside over crooks don't exist. They do. I just did one. The game calls it a frontside over crook. Okay. Okay, hold on. That one, that one didn't count. I wasn't over it enough. If I actually get over it, see? Front side over crook. Why is that a debate? I've still never understood that one. Get a back crook. You know what? I'm gonna call this a back nose grind just to piss people off. Uh, I always do. Oh, front, front 50s and front feebles. And... Wow. <laughs> that worked oddly well. I can never 50-50. Front feeble. I guess that was a little bit more of a of a salad grind there, but that's what I'm saying. The biggest difference between Session and Skater XL is you guys saw how much I struggled in Session to get single tricks, whereas Skater XL, I can knock them out relatively first or second try. I do want to clean that front people up a little bit. No, that's what I always do in real life though. That one said it was a feeble, but I want to redo it. One, get on near the top. There it is. That was a little bit closer. We're going in a line now. Oh! 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 Where are we going next? We're going all over the place. Okay, and then it lost its realism. In the session version of this video that I posted, I tried a line. It was tray flip, lip slide, the A-frame, nollie flip crook, the hubba. It took an embarrassingly long amount of time. I wanna see if we can do it in Skater XL. Tray flip. Okay, wait. Give me a second. It's hard because the whole scene goes black for a second. I can't wait for that glitch to be fixed. God! You know what? Maybe I can't blame it on the game. Maybe it is just me that sucks. That was better. And tray flip, lip. There we go. Nolly flip. That's okay. Hold on. This is exactly an irrational fear that I had since the day we built the park was falling between the ledge in the house and getting stuck. This just proved my point that it's a valid fear. Okay. I'm glad we moved it to this side. Now I can just get impaled by the fence. I think that was a tray flip lip. We're gonna have to go through and verify. Even just that felt so much easier. Little front side ollie and that problem again. Was it a tray flip lip or was it a tray flip nose blunt? It was a tray flip wheel grind. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and call that one a redo. That was a tray lip and that wasn't even a bad one. Keep it going. And of course I mess up the crook. I wish Trey Smith. Beautiful. Don't mess this one up, Garrett. That was it. And we're keeping it going in a line just because we can. Hard flip. Ooh, we didn't clear it. Tray flip. Lip slide. Gross catch. But my God, is that a good look? Where's the rail? Where'd the rail go? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Tray flip lip. That looked good. I'm, I'm content with that. The nollie flip crook. See, it also, that pop out was a little bit, <laughs> a little bit ridiculous there. But even both those tricks looked better than the whole session video combined. You know what I mean? Now, for the actual challenging part of this video, I want to try a whole line like I would in real life from the, the whole pump track, essentially. And then I want to try filming. And when I say I'm rusty in Skater XL filming, I mean it. <laughs> it, is, it is, I can tell you right now, it's not going to look good. That line was sick though. I wonder if we can actually start like there, like we would in real life. Oh, we're going. We're going with this one right here. Kickflip front board. Uh, we're still going. If I land this, it counts. Kickflip back tail fakie. Oh, uh, fakie flip. Damn it. That <laughs> uh, was just bad from the start. I do like the idea of a frontside flip there. Speaking of frontside flips, Ben, who is the 
man editing this video has very good front side flips. I'll have to show you his one of these days. Perfect. Oh, I tried to do a front side ollie there. It's like, no, we're going to flip. That's like a, that's a Ben Doan front side flip right there. Ben, if you have a video of you doing a front side flip, please put it in right here. I want to show them. That one felt really good. We actually made it over the hump there. Keep it going. What did I do here? Kick full back tail! Damn it! Damn. This does skate much better than Session. Except for that. Oh yes. Oh no. <laughs> uh huh. We're switching up our line now. Damn it. Good. This is good. You can make it up there, buddy. You can do it. Uh huh. I haven't thought this far ahead. Uh, tray flip again. No! Oh! God! It's narrow in real life, too. Oh, yes. Slow and steady wins the race. Yes! Fakey flip. Just do like a front shove up this. What was that? We're still going. Nolly flip. No. Oh, God. It gets my heart pumping. It's so hard to skate. There that is. There that is. There that is. Just do something easy up this. Front shove. There that is. Nolly flip lip. You know what? It's fine. We're filming it. Okay, we're done. I thought the first one was bad. This one is much worse. Keep in mind, I haven't updated my sound mod yet, so there's no sound. It's just the awkward sound of pants shuffling, but... We got the line. I think this front shove actually came out way sicker than I thought. I came super close to the ledge, but that was tight. And then we just died there. And then it pans up to the heavens. Perfect. For sure starts out terrible. That was the grossest filming I've ever seen. This was all robotic and ugly. It wasn't good, but it's, it's you know what they say? It's the thought that counts. It was still cool. I want to watch it one more time. Just for this front shove right here. Boom. Death. Okay. Round of applause, Garrett. The button for that. Thank you. You're, you're too kind. Thank you, guys. I want to try a little experiment. I have this skate park in real life in the backyard. I have it in Skater XL, and I have it in Session. The first thing that comes to my mind as a content creator is I want to do a line in all three and film it. Well, I guess I'm going to go put on some skate clothes and... Go try to do this and then do it in the games. See, it was everything that I could have ever wanted. That was fun. Every time I sit back down and I look at the game or I look at the yard, I'm like, holy shit, this is real. I don't know if the session version has it, but this one has a little dog bowl that's out there in real life. It has this, which is a necessity. It is a be, where'd it go? A beautiful Tupperware. Oh. Dude, this glitch is making my ramen disappear. I'm just trying to show you guys that there's ramen there, but if I point the camera at it, it goes away. Okay, there's ramen there. The end. The umbrella, the deck, the chair. The, the cushions look oddly realistic, which is really cool. The chair, trampoline, Buddha. I think that's really it. It's, it's a hyper-realistic one-to-one scale replica of my backyard park. Exact same as Session, but 
Oh god, I can't skate. It's cool. And again, it's probably one of those things that's a lot cooler to me than it is to you guys. Um, but I mean, if, if you watch like the Instagram videos, even my YouTube videos on my main channel, it's cool to see it in real life and then be able to do dream tricks or learn tricks in a, in a video game, but where they'd actually take place. Before this video comes to an end, I want to talk about two things, and I'd very much appreciate if you didn't skip through this part. I know I've been like ranting at the end of the last couple of videos, but it's important, okay? My streaming career. At the end of the last video that I posted, I asked you guys, now that my Facebook gaming contract is done, where do you want to see me stream? A lot of you said Twitch, and a lot of you said YouTube, but the majority of you guys said YouTube, so... I tried it. Years ago, before I signed with Facebook Gaming, I used Twitch. I love Twitch. Twitch is a great platform for what it does as a live streaming platform, but I had tried it already. And YouTube, I since I've stopped streaming on Twitch, I have this channel came into existence. There's over a hundred thousand, I don't know why a hundred thousand of you like watching me play video games, but there's over a hundred thousand subscribers on this channel that I think I, I want I wanted to try it. So I did my first YouTube stream and holy shit over 300 viewers the entire time for the full stream You guys were insanely generous with the members super chats all of that It was one of the better streams I've had in my entire life and that was my first stream ever here on YouTube I'm not contractually parted with YouTube in any way I, I'm sure I'm still gonna go to twitch and experiment with it again But in the meantime, I will be streaming here on YouTube. If you do want to get notified when I go live, you're gonna have to click that little bell next to my subscribe thing and turn on all notifications. I know some people don't have that on, but I think that's what you have to do for streams. But yeah, looking forward to meeting you guys. It's like a whole new audience, bro. Like I, I got so familiar with all the homies on Facebook gaming. You guys are all new people. We're, we welcome you with open arms. Looking forward to seeing you guys on stream. And then the last thing I wanted to say is just another huge thank you to Sashko. I talked about it a lot in the session video, but he is insanely 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 talented and to have this backyard skate park map in my two favorite skateboarding video games session and skater xl is a blessing and a dream come true so if everybody could do me a favor check out sashko's links down below i'll have his discord and instagram in the description and comment something nice like thank you sashko or just something make him smile he deserves to smile he's an amazing young man that's it see you guys soon peace out